And so I'm in Australia and I just decided to vlog because I haven't vlogged in a couple days. So we're still talking about uh, Matthias De, De Stefano's endocrine blog. Um, and I believe this is part three or four. I can't remember. So we're going to start with this. What are prisms? The glands. The IM says that prisms are the glands. The word comes from glands, which means acorn, fruit of the oak, holm oak, and cork oak. Due to the shape the, uh, that these organs have, similar to the seeds of the genus Quarkus. Above all, they are, there are certain main glands that regulate the frequencies of the spirit complex converting them into manifested attributes and they are part of a network called the endocrine system okay so what I didn't realize all of the above the there are certain main glands so the endocrine glands that regulate the frequencies of the spirit hmm so what they're saying here is see the whole spirit complex from the matrix to the great way. What they're saying is that the endocrine system above all there are certain main glands that regulate the frequencies of the spirit converting them into manifested attributes and they are part of a network called the endocrine system. You know what that feels like to me? See right here, the spirit complex of the matrix. What that says to me is when you lose all memory and when you come into this 3D world, that's the contract basically, that feels like this devil card of the, it's, it's the matrix of the spirit complex. Let's read that again. Above all, there are certain main glands that regulate the frequencies of the spirit. So the spirit complex basically loses itself and then is regulated by the endocrine system. All of these can represent attributes of the endocrine system. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. I always wondered why the devil card was the spirit complex. I understood like why it's the spirit complex of the matrix. Okay, fine. Because we're subjected. The mind complex is now in the patterns of the potentiator, right? It's in these patterns that are created by the subconscious mind. Okay, fine. I understand that. But now it makes sense that not only is the mind complex in the subconscious mind in these patterns, but the spirit complex due to coming into the 3D and the 3D perspective that it has to abide by, that's the rules for this third density. Third density is the unconscious right here. And the whole purpose of third density is to become self-aware and becoming self-aware is a choice you have to make the choice to do it but you can't make that choice when your mind complex is in patterns uh, that are created in the beginning from the subconscious mind therefore we live a complete in complete delusion the perspective that we have isn't even ours it's created by whatever the subconscious whatever is deposited by your family the school systems the government external communities pendulums pendulums are huge our pendulums are basically um, the sway of energy in a certain community has a pendulum and that pendulum is what most of us unconsciously the catalyst is comes from the energy of that pendulum and now I understand why the spirit complex if it is this makes sense all above there are certain main glands 
that regulate the frequencies of the spirit, converting them into manifested attributes, and they are part of the network called the endocrine system. The pineal, the pituitary, thyroid, pituitary, I call it pituitary, you're gonna hear me, so I don't know why I do that, but pineal, pituitary, thyroid, thymus, pancreas, adrenals, genitals. Why is it called the endocrine system? Okay, so if I were to just kind of put this into, so there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at all. Not surprised. So genitals, matrix, okay, spirit. So what they're saying is if the spirit complex is, above all, there are certain main glands, which is these seven glands, Above all, there are certain main glands that regulate the frequencies of the spirit complex, converting them into manifested attributes. So converting them into manifested attributes, but the glands that regulate the, ma the frequencies, so the spirit has nothing to do with it. It's tied down like this devil card, right? Right here. So it's actually, the attributes are manifested through your feelings uh, that come from these glands. So the glands are these seven. So if I were to put them in order, just um, intuitively, and my intuition is off today a little bit. My mouth is hurting. So I'm in a little bit of pain, but I'm gonna give it a go anyways, because I feel like I should. So the matrix, the spirit complex, I feel like these are the genitals. Okay, I would say genitals, transformation, pineal, great way. And you guys go ahead and list what you think down below. I might change my mind. Like I said, I'm not. my intuition isn't fully on because I'm in a bit of pain. So transformation, pineal, pituitary, great way, I think. Thyroid, significator, thyroid. So genital, significator. Okay, so matrix is genital, significator is thyroid, Transformation is your pineal. Great way is your pituitary. Thymus is the heart, so it's the experience. So here, fourth density is your thymus. And I think adrenal and pancreas. So then I think potentiator is your adrenals and catalyst is your pancreas. What do you guys think? Hmm. So these seven are basically controlling the spirit complex before you become self-aware, before you don't allow the feelings, the stimulation of the feeling, control the mind, and you really step back and make a choice to become self-aware. That's what I think. And that's what grows the thymus, the fourth density. I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I love you guys so much. Bye.